Hey everyone, this is Janet with Lemon the Bling Designs, and I am doing a Louis Vuitton cup, so I thought I would share how I do my Louis Vuitton. Watch with me. Okay, so um, what I do when I start my Louis Vuittons is, of course, I have my mug and it's already glittered and it has its first coat. Actually, it's got two coats of epoxy already. Um, the first coat I did on another video, which was the initial coat of just glittering. And I just put the epoxy on the tumbler, not the turner. I used the, the just coating it with the finger method. And then I did my ombre and then let it sit up to dry. So this is the second coat already, which is I'm using both of these coats for the Kies Resin Quick Set. So now this one is um, dry enough for sure um, for me to put um, decals on. So what you would do is you put your, you would print out your initial decal and how I measure is basically, um, I just put it around a cup like this and, and just d design it that way. If there's a name on it, which this one does have a name, this one's going to have a name on it. I, end up, I put the decal of the name on first and then turn it where, and make sure it's even on both sides and then put the LV on and I'll show you how I do everything to make sure everything is even and straight so after you have printed out your vinyl and you have uh, weeded it which does take some time um i didn't want to do it on this video it takes too long you um will put an initial just an initial um transfer paper on and what i use for transfer paper which is the best ever is the just the clear transparent basically shelving paper from dollar tree what I did was I got on the Dollar Tree website and bought just a case of it. And so now I just use it like crazy. Um, but that's what I use for all my um, 651 and 631 window vinyl. And it works great. So um, that's what this is, just decal 651. Actually, this one is 631 um, gold vinyl. You can get at Michael's. So once you eat it, you'll use your transfer paper. And I just put the whole transfer paper on there. Then I cut them in pieces, straight line pieces. Some I try to go like one decal a line, but then sometimes you can get two decals in one line. So if you noticed here, I've already cut them out in pieces. So what I'll do is I will put the name on the cup first, then I'll put the logo and we'll be right back and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so my initial decal with the middle of the the middle basically the larger louis vuitton logo is on do not take your transfer taper off and then the name is on don't i'm you can go ahead and take the transfer paper off the name because really that's not going to ooh, hang on let me fix that oopsie technical difficulties Easy fix, easy fix. Started lifting. Okay, let's make sure it's all the way down. Okay, so now we're on the right track. So the name is on, you can take the transfer paper off the name, but you wanna leave this, this transfer paper on because that's gonna be your guide. So what you'll do is, you remember we um, cut the pieces in strips and now I'm going to put it like a puzzle piece. This will go on the right side of the Louis Vuitton logo that I already have on there, and this will go on the left. And I'll go, I'll alternate every time just to make sure that I, when I get close to the name, they look even. You'll see. So I'm going to now put this one strip on. So basically it's like a puzzle piece. So here is my strip and I'll see where the Louis Vuitton piece was and I still have my transfer paper on there. And I'm just going to even it up with that and just eyeball. Yeah. Yeah. Just eyeball it to make sure it's even. And then now do the left side. Thank you. 
and you basically just work your way from left to, to the the right side the left side the right side and left side till you get close to the name on the other side of the tumbler and that's when it starts getting where you want to just eyeball it and put the remaining strips like sit them on the cup don't post don't actually adhere them to the cup to see where your labels are going to end up being because you don't want what your thing is here is you don't want um i actually pulled the wrong one so we're just going over here you don't want like double logos by the time you get around the cup you don't want two louis vuitton logos next to each other that's you don't want that Now, how I determine how far I want to go down from the lid, the rim, is just however I want. Basically, there's no rhyme or reason. I don't go down too far, and I don't go I don't go up to the rim real close because I would rather have like maybe 0.5 inches from the top, maybe less. See, we're getting close to the name. Let me put some more on this side. Still leaving all the transfer paper still on the cup. Just leave it all on there until you're all done. This is the way I like to do it. Um, if you know of an easier way out there, I mean, oh, by all means, let me know. Because I've tried the, you know other ways and they either they get crooked they get off I've got the, the logos too close together or whatever so this to me this is the the best way for me that I wanted to share so now we're getting close to the name and I don't put any logos like on the name I don't put any logos so close to the name that looks like an eye or messed it, it doesn't look well look right so um so like this one since it's close to the A, I'm going to leave that one off. I'll put that one there. I'll put this one here. So this will be just an extra. I'll just sit it over here. Um, then. So here's where it gets tricky because now you've lost your your um, puzzle piece. So take this puzzle piece. See, now this one's getting toward the A. And I'm not going to put that, those two logos right there on close to it with the letter. And I'm only going to put that Louis Vuitton symbol at the bottom. Let's keep those extra. So now it's like, okay, so how close are we going to get and how many logos are we going to have from here to here? So it doesn't look odd. So this... The next one's a Louis Vuitton, and the next one is a diamond. So I'm that's what I'm gonna do all the way up those those that logo strip. So the next one's a diamond.
And this is where you get, like, you just kind of eyeball it. I'm not going to... That leather there. Pick that up. Even if you have to space it out a little, uh, just a little bit further so it looks good, I do. I just eyeball it and space it out. I'm not going to, technically there was supposed to be a, a diamond here, but since it's so close to the A, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to put the, anything there. So I see right now that I got, and that's a good thing about this 631 vinyl, it's not as permanent as 651. I mean, it still sticks, don't get me wrong. It's not going to go anywhere when you put the epoxy on, but it is able to take them off better. Able to fix any oopsies. So I'm just fixing some of these um, flower, what do we call them, flower petal things. Making sure they're lined up right, especially around the name. Okay, so I think that's it. There's the name and the... Um, you notice it's not perfection. I mean, it's not, you've got some kind of like, this is a little higher than this one. It's okay. It's not a big deal. We are, this is handmade. So, but I don't like cover up the name or put too close of a symbol around the name. Now you just go over your, um, decals with your scraper and then slowly pull off your backing paper. And what I do too, before I even put it on the turner to do its last coat of epoxy, is I make sure that all my dots are where they should be. Like all these decals should have those dots. Sometimes with the backing paper, they do stick to them. And then my dots should be in those decals. And then I want to make sure my dots are out of these little flower decals. So. So. And that looks good. So I'm going to put that it's on the turner and then put a little coat of epoxy on it and it'll be done. So I just want to show you how I do my um, Louis Vuitton um, decals on my tumblers. Thanks for watching. Bye.